the Highlanders slumped to their third loss of the season last week against the Crusaders who are struggling at the bottom of the table at AMI Stadium. Today they return home to Forsyth Bar where they look to regain that winning form and push forward as the rest of the New Zealand Conference climbs up behind the Highlanders. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Highlanders career mode. We're into round 15 of the competition and the Highlanders coming off another loss. It is their second in the last three rounds of the competition. More changes coming into the team this week as well. We have plenty of new looks around the squad after last round they performed pretty poorly as well. Franks and Fanatel return to the front row to a partner Tommy Afuna who sticks around. It's a bit retellic again in the second row. The back row is where they struggle to touch Warburton, Kane and Toby Fanatel this time in the back row. Aaron Smith still there and he will partner Sopwanga once again but the changes in the centres is where it had to happen. Francois Stain and George North will be in the midfield partnership. Stowers and Savier on the wings. Ben Smith a fullback again captaining the squad. The Queensland Reds have plenty to prove as well. Their season is still hanging on by a thread. They are third in Australia with 33 points a seven win five loss record but they need to keep in track here. A win against the Highlanders will see them keep right in touch with the Waratahs in the second place. Can they do it? A lot of new names, not many sticking around for the Reds. Only the likes of Hanson, Robinson to name just a couple I think in the back line. They've recruited well. Deneen coming over from Ireland as well as Cade Pokey after a return to Super Rugby. Cody Ray the standout in the, the ITM Cup last season sees him met, get a super rugby contract with the Reds. We're all set to get underway here. The Reds will be kicking this one off, of course, in the red. Highlanders in the blue. We are on halfway, and Wright will be the one kicking us off. Round 15, super rugby is underway. Warburton and Stowers find George North, and he's on the right wing already. Stationed. Looking for work to do is Stain. Stain running hard at the defence. Difference already we can see from the Highlanders. Ball retention. Yes, they'll wait for it to come out now. Warburton nicely away to Aaron Smith. Savia. Numbers keep it live here. Away for Tobin Fanatel. Can he look inside? He does to Franks. No one at home there. And it's picked up from Fatafihi for the Reds. Here's Robinson, Bo Robinson driven backwards, Release. Highlanders all over him and turn the ball back, disarray in defence for the visitors, Sopoanga, away to North, George Dorf, he'll go route run straight to the middle, Release. taken down, three men there, Stowers first man in support as Ritalik fires way to Warburton, he's got a man on him and the Welsh connection, between Warburton and Fellatow comes good for the Highlanders and they open up with the first try. Toby Fellatow dots down right under the black dots. Look at this ball retention, that's the key. That's what we didn't see last week against the Crusaders. The support play, absolutely sublime. Warburton and Fellatow working so well together. And they open up the Highlanders' first try of this match. Beautiful work. That was magical. The back row looking much more connected here in this match. The forwards as well working hard. Retaining possession. And already the results are coming through for the home side. Stain from right in front should be an easy one for him as he looks towards the 10th minute and he looks towards 7-0 as well. Highlanders lead this one. Nice start for them. Seven points on the board. One try. Hopefully for their sake many more as they've looked rather average in the last few weeks. Right back to halfway. Puts it off his left foot and up it goes. Nicely claimed from Silvini. Fullertel! And there's a mistake coming from Warburton. Gets away nicely and there's Cody Ray at the back. Release. Highlanders will let this one go. They'll play the advantage. And the Reds will look to their back line. Nice run through. Getting it off right away. And eventually kicked away from Deneen. Ben Smith 
Pops it back to Savia. He goes through a big gap. Up to the 10 minute line. Kane around the corner. North, he's held up. Great tackle. What a play for the Reds. Had to be made. Stowers to Kane. Sofwanga Atomic. Nice work. Quick passes. Intercepted. And away goes Owen. But he'll lose the ball. It's a beef. Comes away with it. Stain inside ball. Warburton. Here we go again. Warburton looking for support. But he finds no one. And for the second time and touches, he knocks the ball on. Right. Short goes to Hansen. Looks to charge forward. Oh, the Highlanders are stepping up again here. They've turned the ball over again. Sopwanga running through. Looks to the ground. Oh, he's wiped out. What a poor tackle. Great work, though, at the back from Stain. And surely a turnover. If not a penalty, not releasing. Surely one of the two. No, says the ref. Neither will come. Warburton. Tommy Furna misses out. Savia in the corner. And Julian Savia scores for the Highlanders. The monster, the bus. Charges over on the left hand side. Try number two for the Highlanders, and they look much better today. What a difference a week can make. Look at this ball from Tommy Furna. Over the top, misses out three. Bulldozers. Over the top of his opposite number, Tondut. The Fijian just leaves him in his wake. Great ball, Tamir Funa. Gotta love that from the big prop. Charge is over. Typical Savia try. Leaving bodies on the floor as he docks down. Stain already got one to his name so far. 24th minute has gone. It's a nice night here, as always, inside this closed stadium. No win for Stain. And another two points for him as well. Highlanders look fantastic. The Reds look dreadful. It's 14-0. But the Reds have had no real attack here. They haven't even put the ball through their back line hardly in this match. And they are behind by two converted tries. It looks like things could only get worse here for them. As Kane. Kane runs free. Gets the offload through the back of the hand. Felatel, way to Ritalik, misses out, Tommy Furna over the top, is Savia, hits one on one to three, oh great tackle Cody Ray, the fan goes out and Ray hangs on like a little terrier, just biting at the ankles, holding on for a good tackle in the end, line out for the Reds and Hansen. To the back it goes, and it's nicely taken as well. The Reds keep it tight eventually. Curry goes into contact. He's taken for Franks, and turnover instantly. Aaron Smith, Warburton, massive ball out to Stowers. Cuts him in half. Now we're onto the corner. Stowers, Stowers still going. And fair ball intercepted. Should have looked earlier, Stowers. He's thrown away the third try. Now the Reds attack. Wide they look. Tonto gets the ball away to his fly half. And there's no way through there for Quinez. And he's bundled into touch. Five to go till half time. 14 0 the score. It's a beat to the front. Aaron Smith, the way to Sopawanga. Delivers out to no one. Intercept ball from Deneen. Highlanders battle. Well, they've battled very well, and they'll turn the ball back over. Savia running himself. Oh, look out. Big clash of bodies. Quick recycle ball. Stain, stain, stain still going. Somehow scrunched out to north. Ratulik, Ratulik all the way, but he's driven back. Great tackle on the towering second rower. Halftime rings, Aaron Smith has a little dabble. North over the top, Stowers, Stowers is in touch. North pulls it back, the ball's shot forward. The Reds will look to savor this and over for the try. They could have possibly gone. But I think that'll be halftime. The Highlanders butcher a long period of opportunities in that first half. They still lead 14 to nil. But it could have been so, so much more. 
for the home team. 14 0 to converted tries is the scoreline at the break. 71% possession going to the home team and 64% of territory. Tackle count massive for the Reds. 44 to 18. And the line breaks 9 to 0. 9 to 0. Unbelievable stat for the line breaks. Hellingers as well. Also unbelievable. 15 to 1. Typical of how this Highlanders team play. That there's so many mistakes from that half of rugby. It is 14 0. Highlanders look decent. They look explosive. But they need to work on that finishing if they're going to put the Reds to bed here in this clash. Back to halfway for Francois Stein. The side has looked better for his re entrance into the centre pairing as the Reds go up for it. A nice hit on Deneen straight away. Big hit as well, Savir. And this is turnover ball. It's there for Faletau. Stein goes wide. North, numbers, Stowers. Stowers had the stretch. Stowers for the corner. Stowers, no. He has once again been stopped by a whisker. We are so used to Stowers scoring tries for fun. Now he's really struggling as Kate Boki looks to go himself. Aaron Smith steals it. Aaron Smith for line. Just a metre short. Retallick. Stain. Got to be a try. Stowers. No, again he's put in touch. Oh, the Highlanders just cannot put it down on this right hand touch side. The Reds opt for a 22 dropout. Right. Slams this one away. Finds Aaron Smith, who's going to run it straight back. Falatau. Way to stay. Nice ball. Away to Stowers again. Now he's away. Third, fourth time lucky. Cuts it off. And away he goes. Finally beats a tackle of Cody Rand the back. And the Hunter is in for three. Sherwin Stowers finally breaks the line. Well, he's had chance after chance on that right hand side. He's such a good finisher. But you put him up against a man like Curry, the loose head prop. He's going to skin him all day long. That's what we've seen. Stowers with the finish. Finally getting away from Ray. So fast. That's his key element. But the agility is spectacular. Have the option inside and outside. We've seen all night. He can beat a man off his right foot so easily makes him a destructive prospect on the wing well, the Highlanders now third try they'll look for a bonus point easy points on offer here for the Highlanders and for Francois Stein makes no mistake that's his third successful kick of the night it's 21-0 the Reds on the end of a one-sided dominant display here from the Highlanders. Here come some changes as well. Our follower coming on for Sidibini Falatau. We also have Chuck Stuplessy, as you see, on for it to be. Eduardo Gordy on for Aaron Smith. We have changes in the rest of the back line. Patrick Osborne on for Julian Savia. And of course, Malakai Fikatawa, the last change coming on in the midfield is here come the Reds great opportunity to drop off the whistle here's the numbers of passing finally Robinson Release. goes to ground didn't even get the last sub out the Reds from the attack in midfield is Fikatara and here he is now gets the ball away Gorney the subs in action well somehow Franks gets it out and throws it in simple back we go left and right the Reds with it now and it's Porky Stain. Oh, Stain turns it over. The way to Tamifuna. Sopawanga. Osborne. Osborne busting. Looking to break away. Gets his kick. John Afar. Chasing hard. But it'll be beaten in the end. A good chase coming in from the inside centre. Fatavehi, who finally pulls it in. And the Highlanders get numbers. They'll get it straight back. Stain. Looking wide. Fikatoa. He is on the field only just. And he's back in the action. Afoa throws it into touch. Wow, wow, wow. What an end to end side to side passage from both teams involved. So eventually finished it as George North, who is off 
in the 13 jumper for Fikatoa. Ball stolen through Plessis. Here's Kane running the cut out of Filatel. 7 to 8. Sop won the now. Oh, he knocks it on. Would have been easier to catch and pass and put them in for the corner. But the Release. mistake comes now. The reeves of the ball. Advantage is over. Big pass wide. Numbers here. Pokey almost finds a way through. The Reds desperate for one last goal. Things here. 15 minutes remain. Owen driven backwards. Release. Big hit there coming in from Gorey. Now they'll keep it tight once again. Williams over the top. Just out away from Stain. But it's numbers wide again. Tennis there for Tondut. But he gets it back on field as well. And it's Quinzel who sits him out through. Keeping it off to Jack. Advantage Reds for the offside. Good play from Curry. It's breaking through. They go for the free. He gets over the halfway line to the 10 middle line as well. Charging forward. Morning up field of the Reds. How do they stop this machine? Now they play it out. Oh, good ball as well. Finding numbers is here. Deneen. Taken beautifully from Felatau. And turnover ball. Stain. Quick away to Osborne. Osborne gets the wheels rolling. Goes around the outside of the ball. He's a machine. Osborne. What a play. Release. That puts the Highlanders back on the front foot. Here's Gordy. Big dive pass. Stain. Misses out everyone. Completely inside ball again. Fanta Fahey. He has been a massive part of this team. As Franks looks for the ball. Digging deep. Can't find it. Williams. Goes away. Deep pass. Finding Stain. Intercept ball. Here's Osborne. He's got the speed. Has he got the distance though? Once again, Cody Ray. Equal to the task of the Highlanders attack, intercept from Stain and just about puts Paddy Osborne into the corner. Stolen Retallick though, here's Kane again, first receiver, into France he goes. My oh my, this Highlanders team is playing something else. Bonus point on the line, they want one more try, Stain. Figatoa, the way to Kane, oh no, he spilt the ball and he has blown the chance of a bonus point. What a dreadful way to end it, a match full of errors, but the Highlanders have proved they are too good on the day for the Queensland Reds. Well, there was a lot of hard work done from the Highlanders, proves there is so much to improve on. The injection of the subs, especially Patrick Osborne, was so impressive. But they could not get that bonus point, which they are so much lacking. With a game in hands, come with a win. And that's where they want to start things off. 21-0, the full-time score. Toby Felatel, Julian Savia, and Sherwin Stowers with one try apiece. Francois Stein, three out of three conversion attempts, bringing the tally up to 21 points. As for the Reds, nothing for them at all. A big circular donut of nil. Into the stats and not much change from half time. Possession heavily of the Highlanders, 71%. Territory 67. Handling errors, that's the big one. 27 to 1. The Reds made one mistake. Highlanders, well, they made enough for a whole season. With 27, a huge difference, but the points on the board is what matters. And when you make 51, if you make 15 line breaks, I should say, to three, that's a big, big difference. And the Highlanders converted only three of them, but that was enough to put them in for the win. A big tackle count in the match as well. 76 by the Reds, 41 from the Highlanders. Massive numbers on defense, but winners will win. Four points for the Highlanders. How does this affect the table? Let's check that out. But first of all, let's check out the other results from round 15 and a couple into round 16. The Brumbies kicked off the rest of that round with a huge win over the Hurricanes, 54-7. The Bulls, 44-15 over the Lions, Storm is smashing the Western Force, 36-6. And the Sharks, another thumping, 45-3. Into round 16, Crusaders continued on their great form, 31-13 over the Rebels. And the Chiefs stuck past the Reds, 22-15. Now... The next match for the Highlanders, as you can see, against the Hurricanes. That one will be an away match, which will be massive 
as well. Okay, let's have a look at the standings here. And the Highlanders are now on 39. Outright two-point lead as the Blues start to drop, seeing as they have those games extra they have played. The games in hand are being made up by the likes of the Chiefs and the Highlanders. And the leads are being completely mixed around now. The Crusaders are just four points from the Blues, who are just two points behind the Chiefs, who are just two points behind the Highlanders. What a finish to the season it is going to be. Highlanders, though, still have a game in hand alongside their next opponent, the Hurricanes. In South Africa, it's tight as well. Sharks at the top on 47. Stormers right there on 44. Just three points adrift. Then one more point down are the Bulls. So anyone sees it so far, all with 12 matches in the bank, which leaves it for an exciting finish there as well. Cheetahs and Lions, 15 and 7. Their seasons are completely over. Brumbies lead the way in Australia. 14 games played, 60 points in the bank. 12 wins, 2 losses. They are looking so good this season. Waratah second, 40 points for them. The Reds needed a win though. They've played the extra game than the Waratahs and they are still 6 points adrift. The Force and the Rebels round out again. 16 and 8 points on the table. Alright, so we have some news items here. Looks like someone's been picked for some international duty. Let's see who that is. The following player has been seeking for Tonga. So, interestingly enough, Fikatoa on this game at least has opted to play for Tonga and not New Zealand. So, Fikatoa is out. We have to move him out of the team. The likes of De Jong will probably come back into the 23, if not the 15, for the next match as well. But apart from that, we're looking all fit and healthy. Robbie Robinson is due back as well. He had five days left, so he will be coming into the team for the next match as well. Exciting stuff to see Robbie, one of the greatest performers for this Highlanders career mode, back in action. But that is my time done and dusted for today. Thank you for tuning watching. Hope you've enjoyed the matchup today. A good win for the Highlanders back on that winning horse. But until next time, I'll see you for the Highlanders. I mean, it's the Hurricanes, a rematch of the actual final from 2015. But until then, thanks for tuning in and take care.